What is going on people? Welcome back. Today I'm going to do another art tutorial. I'm going to start with the sword I made in the previous video and I'm going to make a layer mask for it. Now a layer mask is something that tells the game, RimWorld in this case, where to change the color of an image to reflect the material that that item is made out of. So for instance, if this sword were made out of steel, we would want the blade to be the steel color that the game uses. If it was plastic, it would look a little bit different. Same for gold, so on and so forth across the other metals. So the way you do that in, in RimWorld is I'm going to make a new layer over here, put it on the very bottom, and then I'm going to make sure black is selected. So I'm going to take that new layer, I'm going to grab the fill tool, and I'm going to totally fill it black. Now I'm going to make another new layer on top of that and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select red and I'm going to, it has to be pure red. See here 255, no green, no blue. And the way RimWorld does this is any parts of your mask that are red will have the color altered. So I'm going to go to my outline and I'm going to select the blade and that's the top half of it obviously. So I'm going to hold down control and select the bottom half of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now you see it's leaving out my little center line there. Uh, that's a little bit problematic. So I'm going to go over here to my lasso select tool and I'm going to also click this button up here so that I can add a union to my currently selected area. And I'm going to grab that. Then I'm going to run over here to the tip do the same up here. This is so Alex can get some grasp on how to make layer masks and other folks that are trying to get into making graphics for a video game such as RimWorld. Those modders or perspective modders or so on and so forth might uh, benefit from this. So really I'm just going to select that line that runs down the center of the blade like that. Now, as you can see, I have the entire blade selected. And since when I used my magic wand tool, the tolerance was set to 70, it even selected all the little fadey bits that are sort of different shades of gray right next to the outline there. All right, so at that point, we can take that red and a fill tool and go to that new layer we made that's right above the black layer at the very bottom of all the layers fill it in now hit control D that'll unselect everything I'm gonna do control S to save one thing a black background layer will show you you see I have a little bit of slop here some other colors come in over my lines maybe I did a feather without that area selected or something who knows but most of that kind of stuff you can ignore. If you're real picky, you can clean it up. You can figure out which layer is causing it, and you can do that just as I turn these layers off. At some point, you'll see it go away. And I could be full of it here. <laughs> no, not yet. I don't know what's causing it. No, it looks like it's on our background layer, actually. Or sorry, our outline layer. Whatever. I'm just going to leave it. All right, so there you go. That's our mask. So what do you do with a mask? <laughs> what you want to do is you do a save as, and you need to save it as a PNG, and you save it with the same name. So my original sword image was saved as sword1.png. You save it as the same name, but with an underscore M at the end. And that tells the game that it's a mask for sword1. Now this... This works for things that only have a single image, like a weapon. If you're, if you're doing this for something like a building that, or some apparel that would have three images, then you need to do, let me go back to that so I can show you. Then you need to not have that underscore. So if you're making like a research bench or a bed, 
And sometimes you need that underscore, sometimes you don't. But if your masks aren't working, go ahead and if you don't have that, add it. And if you do have it, remove it. And I fought with that for hours one time before I figured out that that was the reason that my mask wasn't working. Literally, I gave up on some images that I'd spent a bunch of time on and went with a single image rather than a multi like turnable rotation uh, building like a building you could rotate in game so anyways I'm just going to save this sword how it is it has the mask at the bottom those are turned off and that's that so now when I configure this in the game it will show the blade in different colors because we made this mask to overlay the blade that's that I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. If you have any comments, go ahead and post them in general. I don't consider myself an image guy. Same disclaimer as before. I'm a programmer. I'm a configure configurator, <laughs> whatever the word would be. But uh, I just learned this stuff on my own over the last couple of years as I was doing mods and didn't really have a lot of help on and off making graphics. So that's that. That's how you make a mask. I will see you guys next time.